Hello everybody, welcome to the Let's Play tutorial of how to survive in the survival Minecraft world. This is me and my bro Harrison, and we're going to show you how to do this today. And this cow is jumping right in front of me, he obviously wants some attention. But anyways, so, the first thing you always, always, always need to do is get wood. So you always gotta have you always gotta have uh, wood at least maybe two stacks of sixty four maybe. Uh, so, and to actually craft the wood into wooden planks, you push X and right there it's gonna be on wooden planks already, and so you just push A until you can't anymore. And then, uh, so you keep wanna, or if you're with a friend, you wanna keep getting wood until you maybe get about three stacks of 64 wood, which sounds like a long time to get, but it really isn't. So, so, Yeah, okay. okay, and then uh, something you also want to do is create this thing, which is called a crafting table. And basically this crafting table, very handy, <clears throat> gets you a lot of things. And as you see, if I just go into my regular crafting, it barely gets me anything. But if I go into the crafting bench, it gets me pretty much anything you can get in the game. So, um, now, if you, uh, have enough, create sticks, this right here, and then go to, scroll over with, uh, RB, and go to axes, and push on the axe, and you should get an axe, and this axe helps you chop down the trees, which, uh, chops them down a lot faster, so... So now, see, as you can see, I have 60 uh, wood, and uh, something you do not really need is sand and grass until the later episodes. So, we're going to have multiple episodes of this, we're not going to all do it at one time, and I'm barely finished with this episode yet, but, so you want to keep, like I said, keep chopping down wood until you maybe have two or three stacks of 64. Two is pretty much what you need. So, um, now, if you can see these little things uh, floating on the ground, these are called saplings. And these are basically like seeds from the tree, and you can put them down, and these will actually grow into trees after maybe like two or three days. Um, so you can pretty much plant them anywhere. They're kind of useless, but if you want to start a, ooh, an apple. If you want to start a, um, if you want to start a tree farm, well, they're really good for a tree farm. And, so, yeah. And, second thing, after you get a lot of wood, and especially if you're with, uh, your friend and you get a lot of wood, uh, second thing you need to get is food, and, y like, usually sometimes what, uh, these drop here is apples. The trees drop apples sometimes. It's kind of very rare, so, and basically all these saplings, just, uh, you can keep them in your inventory because you probably don't need them right now, and... And, um, yeah, so, the food here is very important. So, uh, a good way to get a lot of food is cows, and they give you at least two or three raw beef, and raw beef is very important. <laughs> 
Now, you can eat raw beef, but it doesn't give you a lot of hunger. Or, I mean, it doesn't fill your hunger bar. Your hunger bar, here, I'll point to it real quick, is right here. And then, as you can see, your health bar is exactly to the left of that. Now, this meat, like I said, you can eat raw or you can cook it, which we will later cook. Now, these are wolves. Whatever you do, please do not hit them. Those are, uh, you can actually tame them as dogs. But if you do hit them, they will attack you and they will kill you. So, now, uh, wherever my, uh, friend is here. Alright. So, alright, so the next step is, is, Harrison, just follow me on the map, okay? So the next step is to find shelter or at least just build a house. Now, as you can see, like I was talking about, to the right, my hunger bar is going down. As you can see, they're kind of starting to go away and starting to go black, which means I'm starting to get a little hungry. Now, just because it gone, it's gone down one doesn't mean I have to eat right then. Sure. Um. Now, so we are building a house, and Harrison's gonna be build the outer frame. Now, if you're just a beginner and you're playing solo, <clears throat> I recommend building a house like this, exactly like this, because it is pretty much enough for one person and enough for one person's chest. So now, um, when it's starting to get nighttime, as you can see, and nighttime is very bad, and you don't want to be out in nighttime. So you want to come back in your house, and you at least want to create a crafting table and, plop, and plop it on the ground. So, and then what you want to do is you want to create two chests. And this, you're probably like, why, why two chests? Well, because two chests create a large chest which is pretty helpful so we can put all this stuff that we do not need right now in the chest <clears throat> now tomorrow I will be um why well, I mean but I mean uh tomorrow I mean um later so um but yes uh the desert is uh I, re I don't recommend settling in the desert but since we're right by the forest you kind of want to settle by the forest and now if you can see him right there that is a bad that's an enemy it's a <clears throat> mob and that is a creeper it's probably the worst enemy you can encounter i think except the ender dragon which we will discuss in way later episodes um but yeah you kind of want to stay away from him he's not very nice he goes kaboom, right, Harrison? So, now Harrison, I believe, is creating the floor, right? Yeah, I, was, I wanna make a, uh, Downstairs? I wanted to make a sword. Ow. Okay, but uh, now, now for the roof. Now, you wanna put the roof on here. Now, you at least want to have, so you want to build the house up three high. Because if you build it up too high, then you will not be able to fit inside of your house. Now, you can build it any height taller, but I recommend three high and then two tall for the inside. Um, oh, Harrison, the creeper's coming over here, so kind of get in the house. Now... Here's our first mob encounter, which is the creeper, and he is very mean, and he's not nice. So I'm going to create a sword. So like I said again, create the sticks, then uh, scroll over with the right bumper, or the right bumper, and create this thing, which is a wooden sword. Now, as you can see, wooden things are not that handy because they break really easily so now um first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put my uh valuable stuff inside this chest just so in case i blow up uh the i won't lose a bunch of stuff and 
whenever you, as you can see, he, like, kind of hisses at you. And whenever he hisses, that means, oh, see, he blew up. But if he blows up in water, it does really nothing. So, now that we're all safe, uh, I think next priority would be, um, either mining or either getting a bed, which I recommend getting a bed first. So what you want to do in getting a bed, you better run. They're teaming up on you, man. Again. I'll fend them off. Come on, blow up, just blow up. Okay, there you go. They just blew up in the water because they do nothing. So you have a wooden sword? All right, well, uh, can you go, uh, get a, uh, some wool? Now, this is a spider, obviously, as you see. Ouch! There's another one. Now, spiders are very annoying. And, um, they're just very annoying. So, uh, yeah. Now, you're probably wondering what these flowers are for. Now, these flowers are for, um, dyes, like, so if you want to dye something yellow, if you want to dye something yellow, you can, like, uh, now I'll show you how you can dye stuff real quick. Um, you can basically dye stuff by, um, coming with... <laughs> So with the uh with these flowers you can go into the crafting bench and kind of go over to the the picture frame kind of place. Now, as you can see I can make yellow dye and I can and you can basically dye sheep yellow, which is pretty cool. So if I can find a sheep uh Harrison, we need to kill some sheep. Okay, here's a sheep. Now, I'm going to set an example how I can dye it. Now, as you can see, I dyed it yellow. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. I hate creepers. The, it just died. Did just it give like me any wool? Yay, give me yellow wool. Harrison, I have yellow dye. Dandelion yellow. Come on, puppy. Go. Okay, but anyways, like I was talking about, um, as you can see, Harrison has a pet dog. Now, as you can see, it was an unfriendly wolf before, but now it is actually a, um, dog. Now, the way you get it to a dog is you basically feed it bones, and, yes. But, thank you for hanging with us, this is our first episode, and, uh, we will be creating many episodes after this, so, thank you for watching, bye!